Las Vegas is full of fees that can easily add up to more than $100 a day. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to avoid those fees, including those pesky resort fees. The first annoying fee that you'll encounter a lot are restaurants adding various fees onto your bill. It might be a concession fee, a venue fee, an inflation fee. They'll call it whatever they want. Basically, it's a because we can fee. And if you just ask your server or ask the manager to take it off your bill every single time, that has worked for me. And normally this fee runs between like three to 6% of your bill. But in reality, it's a very easy one to avoid. The next annoying fee is parking fees. Parking can easily run you $20 or more per night here on the Las Vegas Strip. And most of the hotels on the Strip do charge for parking. There's a few at the north end of the Strip where I'm at that don't. Uh, Venetian and Palazzo, Wynn and Encore, Resorts World, Treasure Island, none of these charge for parking. So you can always park at one of these hotels and then take an Uber to wherever you're staying. And that could save you like $100 during your stay, depending on how long you're staying here. But another way to avoid the parking fees without the hassle of getting an Uber or something like that is to get entry level status in the casino loyalty programs. And there's a couple ways you can do this. Number one is if you have a military ID, and it has to be US military, unfortunately, but if you have a military ID, you can bring that to the players club desk in the casino, and they're going to give you automatic first tier status in that program. And at least at MGM Resorts and Caesars, that qualifies you for free parking, and most of the strip hotels are owned by one of those two companies. And another way, if you're not military or former military, that you can get free parking is to achieve entry-level status in their casino loyalty program by playing there. And the truth is that most people coming to Vegas play enough during the course of their stay that if they concentrated their play at the casino they're staying at, well then they're probably going to play enough, gamble enough to get entry-level status. But I want to say, don't gamble just for the purpose of trying to get status. Just gamble what you would anyway, and if you can reach entry-level status from that, consider that a bonus that you don't have to pay for parking during your trip. The next annoying fee that you're gonna have to deal with are internet fees. So at all these resorts, your resort fee is supposed to cover your internet, but at a lot of them, you're limited to four devices, or even at Caesars properties, you're limited to two devices connected per 24 hour period. And if you exceed that limit, well then you're going to have to pay a lot of money to connect any additional devices. So my tip for you to avoid this fee is to bring your own travel router with you. You just hook that up in the room and you can connect as many devices as you want to your own router without paying any extra fees. Now let's talk about how to get out of paying the most dreaded fee in Las Vegas the resort fees. Almost every hotel on the Strip charges a resort fee, but there are actually quite a few ways to get out of paying them. Number one is to get status in a casino loyalty program. So I talked about status earlier, and tier one status generally gets you free parking. If you get tier two status, so in, at MGM that would be gold, at Caesar property that would be diamond, this gets you comped resort fees. So this can literally save you $50 per night that you're staying. Now, how do you get to these statuses? Well, it's not an insignificant amount of play that it takes to get there to the tier two status. However, it's definitely doable even for someone like me, a low roller like myself. I can get there if I'm loyal to one casino chain and play there consistently. Like the higher rollers, they can easily get there in a day, but me, it might take a couple of stays being loyal to one casino program. You can also speed up getting to that tier two status by going to Vegas when a casino chain is offering bonus points or accelerated tier credits for coming on certain days. In addition to earning status by spending money at the resorts or by gambling at them, you can also get status by getting the founder's card. So the founder's card isn't a credit card, but it's like a membership card that gets you various rewards. This isn't cheap though, it's $600 a year. So I, I don't know if I can recommend this, I, I've never had it, but something you can do is you can get a cheap credit card, like a cheap Hilton Amex card with a 
annual fee of only like $100 that comes with a bunch of benefits on its own. And with this credit card, you get Hilton Gold status, which at certain times of the year, you can status match to Wyndham Diamond. And once you have Wyndham Diamond, you can status match that to Caesars Diamond. And then I've been doing this thing for years where I just status match from Wyndham to Caesars, Caesars back to Wyndham, and I've continued to keep my Caesars Diamond status without ever qualifying by gambling. I just do status matches a couple times a year and that gets me unlimited comp resort fees at Caesars Properties. Another way to get your resort fees comped or at least discounted is to, when you get to Vegas, sign up for the casino loyalty card in the hotel where you're staying. And then during your stay, try to concentrate most of your play at that hotel or other hotels that use that same loyalty program. And then when it gets close to the end of your stay, you're going to pick up the phone in your room and you're going to ask for the casino host on duty. And when you get the casino host on the phone, you're going to ask them to review your play and see if they can comp anything off your bill. So I checked out of Mandalay Bay and I did this where I contacted the casino host on duty and they're like, sure, we can comp $120 off your bill. That's three nights of resort fees gone. But even on the trips where I've hardly played at all, they've been like, yeah, sure, we can take $20 off your bill, no problem. So this is a really easy way that almost everybody overlooks to get those resort fees comped in Vegas. I've been staying at the Venetian during this trip and on my first couple of nights here, I had some problems with the housekeeping. So what I did is I went to the front desk and explained to them my experience. I didn't ask for anything to get comped. I didn't ask for anything for free, but after explaining what happened and what I had experienced with housekeeping, they're like, hey, I'm really sorry for this. This is definitely not up to Venetian standard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comp your first night of resort fees. And this was $50 taken off my bill just by going to the front desk and explaining what had happened with housekeeping. I didn't even ask for anything. So use these tips and I can almost guarantee that you're going to be paying a lot less in resort fees and many times having your resort fees totally comped. Watch this video next on the biggest tourist traps to avoid in Las Vegas.